Here's my dilemma. I've got a dryer vent coming from the laundry room to the garage. And as you can see, I've just got this cheesy little box thing that it dumps into that, I don't know, I never remember to clean, but it just has these open grates and eventually all the dryer lint basically, this is pretty sad, it shows you how often I leave my garage, but all the dryer lint makes itself, makes its way out here and it's just covering this entire shelf. And I mean, even these fixtures, I mean, pretty much anywhere within about a three foot radius is just caked in this stuff. So my options were limited because dumping into the garage, I could go, ultimately I want to vent it to the outside, but that's hard to do. I can't, if I go vertical, I have to go through the ceiling and the roof, or I contemplated maybe doing like a run horizontally and going up over that doorway because I have a closet there and then out this exterior wall, but that involves drilling through brick and that's a lot of pipe length. So I don't know, I doubt my dryer would actually have the ability to actually produce enough pressure to vent like that uh, without basically just restricting the system. Plus I'd have to clean it out all the time. So I essentially just kind of comprised, why don't I just build my own larger box and do some kind of filtration of it to keep all of the dryer lint from coming out into the garage. Um, I still have the problem of humidity, which ideally I wouldn't want to be dumping all the humidity in the garage normally. So ideally I'd be venting it out, but as kind of a compromise to see if I like it for now, I am building a little vent box out of this bucket. And so what I'm gonna do, I already took the collar and kind of cut a hole in there, as you can see, and uh, cocked around it. That's the old collar that was hooking up the dryer vent uh, through the hole there. Um, so I basically drilled a hole and just butted that up against it and sealed it. And then I'm going to use the old top. This is just a you know cheesy Home Depot bucket. Use the old top, cut a, cut a hole out of it, and I'm gonna use just like a, you know, an old t-shirt or, you know, it's just some kind of cotton towel. Like this. And put that around it. And that will be my little fabricated filter. That way, hopefully I have a lot more room inside of there to actually fill up and hold the heavier lint um, without dumping it out into the garage. And then every once in a while, I'll just clean that cotton filter and I don't think you know that's that's a pretty coarse cotton fabric you know not real thick so that's not going to be real restrictive so I think in terms of just airflow that's really not much resistance at all uh, for that thing to be overcoming but I'm going to get this thing installed and turn on the dryer and just kind of see how much that thing looks like it's going out I uh, just try to get a feel for the resistance and give it a try. All right, so I got it hooked up through the wall here and just zip tied it to the old vent. And as you can see, so I actually pulled through a little extra cloth so that it could have more face area. So just kind of vent and then, you know, it's pushing hard enough to fill it out, but I can, I can feel the airflow. Um, I don't think it's too restrictive. Sounds okay, but I'm gonna kind of run a little test run on the dryer just to just to make sure it's not getting too hot or throwing any signals at me um, in the morning. So, anywho, I think, I think I'm gonna give that a try for a while and see if it helps my lint situation.